So we have come to the end of another decade that started in 2010. And over those last 10 years, a lot of hardware and software has been released. So before the start of a new decade in 2020, I want to highlight at least one product from each one of those years from 2010 to 2019. So in April 2010, a product was released from Apple and that product was the iPad. It wasn't the first tablet on the market, but it was the first tablet that was well received and got real popular and is still the number one tablet on the market today. While we're on the topic of tablets, in November 2011, Amazon released their tablet called Kindle Fire, which was a colored version of the Kindle because the Kindle was always just for reading book. So they decided to release one that was similar to what Apple did with their tablet. So not only could you download eBooks, but you could also get access to an app store and download TV shows and movies. And the Kindle Fire was later replaced with the Fire HD tablet. In October 2012, Microsoft gave us Windows 8, which was not well received because it drastically changed from Windows 7. We all got used to that taskbar at the bottom with the start button. And then Microsoft decided to do this drastic change and create all these tiles on the desktop. And after a lot of backlash, they decided to skip nine, went straight to 10, brought back the taskbar along with the start button. But now we're back to the familiar old style of Windows with the little pop-up menu when you hit the start button. In July, 2013, the product that hit the market was the Chromecast. Now this product that was released by Google made it easy for you to just go to your tablet or your phone or even your desktop and share that content to your big screen TV. And it was so simple to use. All you had to do was just plug it into your HDMI port. Currently the version that I own is the Chromecast Ultra and that's the 4K version. So in November, 2014, Amazon released a product that forever changed the name Alexa, and that was the Amazon Echo. Now, when this product first hit the market, of course, it could only play music and give you information. Now, at the date of this video, the Echo is only five years old, and look how much stuff it can do from the time it started till now. And not only what it can do, but all the stuff it can control and all the stuff that it's getting into. So can you just imagine 10 years from now in 2030, what the Amazon Echo device and Alexa can do. In April 2015, Apple released a smartwatch called the Apple Watch. Of course, it wasn't really the first smartwatch on the market. There's been other before that, but the Apple Watch is the only watch that really became mainstream. Now, even though I don't own an Apple Watch, I have to say it's the best smartwatch on the market today. In November 2016, Google entered the market with their own voice assistant that was able to give back information and control certain smart devices to Google Home. In March 2017, Nintendo released a gaming system that you can have in two modes, a portable mode and a TV mode. So it was the first gaming system that you could have a full blown system hook up to your TV. And then when you're ready to hit the road, you just take out the part with the screen hook up the controllers, and now it becomes a portable device. Now, even though the Switch is not as fancy as the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One X, it can do what they can't do, and that's that versatility to take it with you or to play it at home. In February 2018, Apple released the HomePod. Now, I'm not sure if they were trying to just make a good speaker that could play music or they were trying to compete with Google and Amazon with their smart speaker. Now you can tell they were only going after true sound because they didn't really make the HomePod to be compatible and universal like the Amazon Echo device or even the Google Home device. So at the time of this video, the HomePod is at the bottom of the list. If you're trying to get a smart speaker to control things in your home, Amazon still has that lead and Google's right behind them, but the HomePod is at the very last bottom. Okay, so this last product, it's been on the market for a while, so there's nothing really new about it. But they finally made a wireless version of it that was really good. And I'm talking about the Oculus Quest that was released in May 2019. Now, even though the Oculus Go was already previously on the market, when the Quest came out is when I was really interested in VR because it was wireless and it lasts a long time, and the quality of the image and the experience of just wearing it is really good. And the fact that it came with a rechargeable battery that you can just recharge, and you don't have to be tied down to a computer with the cables being connected, 
Now you're in a virtual wireless free world. This is what VR should be all about. Okay, so that was a list of my highlighted product for the decade of 2010 to 2019. And like I said, there was a lot of hardware and software that was released during that time frame. So if you have any highlighted products within that time frame, I would love to hear it in the comment section. All right, so this is gonna be my last video for this year and this decade. I look forward to see you in next year and next decade. Have a good one and until then, see you next time.